everyone, this is Deeksha from Coding Power. I'm back with a new video. In this video, we'll be learning how to create a simple game called Bunny Jump using Scratch. So, I hope by now you all have downloaded the Scratch app. If not, the details for the installation is given in the description. First, let us see how the game looks in the end. So, this is how it looks like. When we click the flag, the strawberry runs and when I click the space button, the rabbit jumps. So whenever I cross a strawberry, the score increases by 1. And when the strawberry touches the rabbit, the game stops. So this is how the game looks in the end. Now let's open Scratch app. Go to the search option and type Scratch. Now open the app and maximize it. So this might take a few seconds to load. So now we have opened the Scratch app. Now to create a game we need characters known as sprites. So the characters needed for this game is one the bunny the rabbit and the second is the strawberry. So we do not need this cat in the game. So I'll delete it. Now go to choose a sprite button and in the search option type rabbit. So there are two rabbits. Click on the first one. Now we have the rabbit in the game. The second character needed is a strawberry. So again go to choose a sprite and type strawberry. So we can see there is one strawberry. So click it. Now we have the two characters needed for the game. Let's choose a background color. Go to choose a backdrop and select any background of your choice. I am going to select the blue sky. So now we have the background, the two characters. Now let's drag the two characters to their position. First, I'm going to drag this uh, rabbit. So I would like the X position to be minus 125. And the Y position to be minus one one five. Now let's do the same for the strawberry. I would like the strawberry's x and y position to be x two zero five and y minus one forty five. Now the strawberry is uh, the size of the strawberry is big, so we need to decrease the size. Go to the size option and type 50. So I have decreased the size of the strawberry and placed both the characters in its position. Now let's do the code for the rabbit. Click on the rabbit or the hair. So in order to write the code, we need to go to events. So go to events and select when flagged clicked. So drag and drop it. So when the green flag is clicked, we need the rabbit or the hair to go to a position we have placed it in. So for that, go to motions and select go to X and Y, drag and drop it below the when flag click. So when the green flag is clicked, we need the rabbit to come to this position. Now, if we go to the costumes here, we can see the uh, rabbit has three different Costumes. One is the sitting position and the other two are for running. So we'll go to code. So when the game is started or the, when the flag is clicked, we need the rabbit to be in the sitting position that is costume A. So go to looks and switch costume to drag and drop this here and select hair A, the first one. So now we for the game we need a score. 
So let's go to the variable and create a score. Click on make a variable and type score. And select OK. So now we have created the variable called score. In the start of the game, we need the score to be 0. So select this set my variable to 0 and drag it below switch costume. Now instead of my variable, let it be score. So set score to 0. Now we need to write the code for the rabbit to jump whenever the space key is pressed. So for doing that, go to events. Select drag and drop when space key pressed. So when the space key is pressed, the rabbit has to jump. So in order to jump, the rabbit has to move upwards. So upwards in the sense in Y axis. Go to motions. Scroll below and you can see change Y by 10. Drag and drop it here. Instead of 10, we will uh, write 40. So when the space key is pressed, we need the rabbit to jump in Y axis in 40 steps. So while jumping, the, we need the rabbit to change its costume. So go to looks and drag and drop switch costume to. So as we have seen before, the rabbit has three costumes. So in that we need the uh, rabbit to change to costume B, the second one. So after changing its costume, the rabbit has to wait for a few seconds. So go to control. Here drag and drop wait one second. Instead of one second, we can write 0 0.3 seconds. So after waiting, the rabbit has to change its costume again. So go to looks. Drag and drop switch costume to. Instead of, okay, uh, so we have to select costume C. So it is already selected. Now it has to wait for another 0 0.3 seconds after changing to costume C. So go to controls, drag and drop wait seconds instead of 1 0 0.3 seconds. Now by this the rabbit is jumping upwards by 40 step. Now after jumping upwards in Y axis Again, it has to come down. So go to motions. Scroll below and select change Y by. For upwards, it is positive 10 and for down, it is negative 10. So here you, we have used 40. So it is negative 40. So now the rabbit jumps. After jumping and coming back down to the original position, we need the rabbit to be in sitting costume or sitting position. So go to looks, drag switch costume to and select costume A or the air A. So now the rabbit jumps clearly. After jumping, whenever the space key is pressed, we need the score to increase by 1. So go to variables. Change my variable by drag this. Instead of my variable, it is score. Change score by 1. So with this, we have completed the code for the rabbit. Now, let's write the code for the strawberry. Click on strawberry. And here in strawberry, we need the strawberry to move from the right side of the screen to the left side of the screen when the flag is clicked. So go to events, select and drag when flag is clicked. So when flag is clicked, it, we need the strawberry to move or glide. So go to motion. First, it needs to go to this position where we have placed. So drag and drop, go to X and Y. So the X is 205, Y is minus 145. So after going to a position, it needs to glide. So select glide one second to X and Y. Drag and drop this. So instead of X 205 and minus 145, we need the strawberry to come 
in this side the left side of the screen so i need the x axis to be minus 220 and the y axis to be minus 145 the same as before so let's change the x and y so the x is minus 220 the y is minus 145 so now let's click on this code and see we can see the rabbit is oh sorry the strawberry is moving very fast or very quick so instead of one second let us put right 2.5 seconds so now let's check it again by clicking so we can see the strawberry is moving perfect now we need this glide movement to go on forever so go to control drag this forever loop and place it after the when flag clicked and all these both components should go inside this forever loop so now we need the strawberry to stop moving when the stop gliding when it touches the rabbit or the hare so in order to do that go to events drag and drop when flag is clicked and we need the strawberry to stop moving when the rabbit is uh, attached to the strawberry so go to sensing here drag and drop touching mouse pointer instead of mouse pointer it is the hair or the rabbit so go to control and select wait until drag and drop it here touching hair so when the flag is clicked wait until the strawberry touches the hair or the rabbit and stop all so go to control drag scroll below and drag and drop stop all so when the flag is clicked it, the rab, uh, the strawberry wait waits until it touches the hair or the rabbit and it stops all now when the space key is pressed the rabbit jumps while the rabbit jumps down it touches the strawberry then also the score gets added plus one so we don't need that so go to variables drag and drop change my variable by one and drop it before stop all so instead of my variable it is score and instead of one it is minus one so now we have completed the code for the rabbit and the strawberry. Let's click on the flag and check. So we can see the strawberry is moving. So I'm clicking the space button for the rabbit to jump. And if the st strawberry touches the rabbit, the, uh, the game stops and the score is 2. Now there is only single strawberry in this game. So in order to make more such strawberries, we'll duplicate the same thing by going to the strawberry button down, right click on it and click on the first option duplicate. So in the strawberry 2, the code also get, gets duplicated. Now if we click on the flag button and see, we don't see any difference here because the strawberries are in the same position and it's uh, and they come in the same time so in order to stop this we'll go to control and here when flag is clicked and the loop gets started before that we'll make this stop we'll make the strawberry number two so go to strawberry two and we'll make the strawberry number two wait for one second before uh, showing on the screen so instead of 1 second, we'll type as 1.5 seconds. So before the strawberry wait, so until the strawberry waits, we need it to be hided in the screen. So go to looks, scroll below. You can see there is show and hide option. Go to hide and drag and drop it before wait seconds and after the flag 
and drag and drop show so so first when the flag is clicked the second strawberry gets hided it waits for 1.5 second and then it shows on the screen and starts it and starts its loop so now we have completed the code for the strawberry 2 let's maximize the screen and click on the flag option and see so i'm clicking on the space button so when the uh, rabbit touches the strawberry the game stops and we can see there are two strawberries on the screen let me play again by clicking on the flag so i'm clicking on the space button for the rabbit to jump so when the rabbit touches the strawberry the game stops and the score is four so with this we have completed the game so in addition we can add a sound when the straw uh, rabbit jumps and also we can add a background sound for the game so first let's add the sound when the rabbit jumps so go to sound block here we can see there is pop sound start sound pop so drag and drop this below when space key pressed so now we have added the sound when the rabbit jumps now let's add a sound when uh, let's add a sound for the background so go to sound option to click on choose a sound and i'm going to loops here i will choose the sound chill so i'm going to click on it now go back to code and go to events and drag and drop this when flag is clicked so when we click the flag or when the game starts we need the sound to play so go to sound drag and drop play sound chill until done so now let's click on the flag and check So when the strawberry touches the rabbit, the game stops including the sound. So with this, we have completed the game. Now let's save it. Go to the file option and click on save to your computer. We can save it anywhere. So for example, you can save it in the desktop. Here instead of scratch project, you can type bunny jump and click on save now we have saved the uh, project now we can close the app so this gives uh, an error message when we close the app but you can click leave the project will be saved thank you for watching